internally what excites me about building relationships is that you, if you've got a great team, work is enjoyable. And if you're at the top and you've got a great team working for you, life's just great because you enjoy seeing them. You know, the whole thing just works well. If you've recruited great people and you get on with them and you've learned to empathize with them, that's great. Building relationships externally, what excites me about it is well, I like meeting new people. I like getting out of the comfort zone. I like putting myself in challenging positions, yeah. If you take a literal example of walking into a room, I would recommend reading Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom in respect to this. If you go in a room thinking I'm gonna talk about myself and tell them all about me and that's how I'm gonna network and you know, build a relationship with people, you've got one story, <laughs> you've got one life. It's much more interesting if you can curate your own life and your own stories around what other people are saying. So I, I started my career in sales and I was given a really good piece of advice that if you're going to a sales meeting for the first 20 minutes, just ask questions. And the answers to those questions will give you great information to be able to build a relationship. Human interaction is really important in building relationships. There are halfway houses, I think, you know, Skyping people and using Zoom, applications like that is a good shortcut. But ultimately, I, I get a real kick out of bumping into people and then you end up collaborating on something and before you know it, three years later, you've built something really successful and really great. So never turn down the opportunity to meet people who you might even disagree with a lot because it will develop you as a person as well.